Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Zoho CRM. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Zoho CRM from the available list of applications. I will name the service as Zoho CRM Query Service. I'll then choose the service named Query, which gets the data of selected objects from the Zoho CRM. I'll choose Modules, select Leads Object, and then select the required fields from the fields list. We can also apply the filters by choosing the required conditions. For now, I am not applying any filters. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the leads to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the Query Leads Sheet tab to present all the values from Zoho CRM. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon, and turn on or off the Include Header and Clear Sheet before getting the leads. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the Execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the selected fields from the list are effectively brought from the Zoho CRM and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Zoho CRM leads from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name as Zoho CRM Post Service for creating the Zoho CRM leads from the sheet. I will choose the Post Service. Then I will select a specific entity from the list. At this point, I have the choice to use an existing template or set up the process manually. For now, I'll opt for the template. Applying the template will automatically populate sample data to the spreadsheet, and it will establish automatic mapping using the template. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the column drop-down. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the Zoho CRM. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Feel free to use this sample template data and make any necessary updates. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the Zoho CRM. At this point, we have two options, Post Now and Close. I will click on Post Now, which will create the leads in Zoho CRM. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the Status and Result columns. And we can see all the posted records in Zoho CRM. Let's prepare a new service named Zoho CRM Sync. This synchronizes the leads between Google Sheets and Zoho CRM. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The Synchronize service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Zoho CRM. I'll choose the Modules option and pick a particular object from the list, and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. Also, we can apply filters to synchronize records. For now, I will skip the filters. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 Zoho CRM leads. 
The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in Zoho CRM. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Zoho CRM for the same data, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Zoho CRM wins or Google Sheet wins to choose which data to keep. In the Zoho CRM wins scenario, the most recent data from Zoho CRM will overwrite and update the corresponding lead in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Zoho CRM. First, let me choose Google Sheet wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Leads Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the leads for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, Your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Zoho CRM first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the leads from Zoho CRM. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields between the synchronization sheet and the Zoho CRM. So now as it's asking for intelligent mapping, I will select Yes. So it will automatically map both app fields and sheet fields. We can also manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. If you already have Zoho CRM data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the leads. For some of the leads I will update the state value to Kerala. And you can see the current state value of one of the lead in Zoho CRM. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Zoho CRM total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Zoho CRM from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the Zoho CRM. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. We can see that updated lead in Zoho CRM. Now, let me choose Zoho CRM wins. With the Zoho CRM wins option, recent data of Zoho CRM will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. For testing this, I will change the state value of one of the leads to Karnataka. Now it should update the recent value from the CRM. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will keep the same sync leads sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the execute button. After executing, the execution control panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. If the selected sheet is empty, the sheet director will get data. I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. 
We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from CRM irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new leads will be fetched from the Zoho CRM. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of Zoho CRM leads originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to B1. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the leads for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the Zoho CRM leads. If you already have Zoho CRM leads data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. Hence, utilizing Sheet Director makes it easy to query Zoho CRM leads information and display it in Google Sheets. Creating new Zoho CRM leads from Google Sheets, and finally keeping the information synchronized between the Google Sheets and Zoho CRM leads. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Zoho CRM leads. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Zoho CRM leads data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.